Hello, humans. I recently received this Spider-Man bust from my mother-in-law from all, all the way across country over in Perth. He recently got a new 3D printer and he thought might like to um, give this a go. So I'm going to paint it up and see how it comes up. After giving an undercoat with uh, Fiddly Bits Grey Primer, I'm now attempting to paint in the colours. I'm going to start off with just a, um, a dull crimson like red. Do a couple of coats of that because it's quite thin, this, this paint, and the, uh, it's going to require a couple of coats to get a nice solid colour. And then I'm going to top coat it with this Scarlet Lake colour. Again, this will take a couple of coats as well to get the uh, strength that I want, but it should pretty much give me the uh, red that I want. There can be many different reds for the Spider-Man costume, and this is the one that I've chosen. And then for the blue, I'm just going to go with the Cobalt Blue from the same brand. Uh, and I've decided to, to paint the, uh, the chiseled sides and the back just to give me that nice contrast with the red and, um, and in keeping with the blue and red Spider-Man colours. Carefully painting in the, the whites of the eyes, just massaging the brush into the corners. But any touch offs or messiness can be always touched up later. Now this particular version of Spider-Man is from the PlayStation game by Insomniac. Um, what gives it away are these blue stripes on the shoulders. You can see him featured there with a big white spider logo on the front. This is, what's, this is one of the things that makes him stand out of, amongst the other versions of Spider-Man. So that's the look that I'm going to try and recreate. Just doing a second coat on the eyes to try and make it look more plain and uniform and uh, very carefully painting the spider logo even though it's the version from the game this particular version has the white logo on the chest the bust is being cut off so you can't see the uh, rear legs and where they extend further down to the lower torso, but it's definitely the same version. And very carefully painting around the, the eye lenses in the black and the laborious task of painting all the web lines on the body. Fortunately, these have been rebated or sculpted in, so it's a lot easier for me to follow.
once that black line work is dried, it's come, it's coming across as a little bit too strong, so I'm almost dry brushing another coat of red over the top just to calm it down and just to make it look a little bit less obvious and also neatens up my line work as well because the red is quite transparent it's not going to totally cover up my line work anyway but what it is going to do is it's going to neaten it Now for the, uh, the base that the bus sits on. Um, it's sculpted concrete and broken bricks and Rio. So um, I've decided to give this like a sandstone look. The colour I'm using is a Tamiya product called Buff. And this is just going to give it a bit, a bit more of a calmer colour. And now I'm going over the top with some shoe polish, making sure it gets in all those um, deep rebates and recesses in the sculpt. And then I'm just going to wipe the excess off to show a bit more of the, uh, the buff colour to come through. And this will make the details pop. Once that's all pretty much dried, I'm just going over it with, with a dry brush and some white acrylic just to catch the edges and just give it a bit more weathering and a bit more dimension. Now I'm giving the, the sculpted Rio or reinforced steel a bit of a silver treatment and then when that's dry I'll go tarnish it down with some black shoe polish and then touch it off with some brown shoe polish just to give it a bit more grime and grunge and rust. So there you have it, humans. This has been my attempt at painting a bust of Spider-Man from the PS4 game. And I think it's turned out quite nice. And many thanks to my brother-in-law for sending this to me. It's been a lot of fun. And I hope you've enjoyed it too, fellow humans. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Retro Rocket Man, over and out.